Um, while I was writing the script and holed up in a little shed in the Catskills, um, I was reading what I could of so-called Native American literature, right? So I'm reading all these books, uh, whatever I could find in the voice of Native Americans. And I thought, okay, I just need to kind of erase all this for a minute. I think I'll read something else and put this away. I'm a big William Blake fan. I pick up uh, some Blake. I'm reading Blake, and I can't believe that it sounds, some of it, like Native American aphorisms, like uh, expect poison from standing water, or little things. This were, these were from Blake. And it just like opened my brain up to like, wow, he wants to be in the film, you know? <laughs> so he entered the film, and then William Blake became a part of the film. But it really happened like that. It wasn't something I decided. Um, I, I saw a beautiful Q&A here during the New York Film Festival with uh, a film director I love, Claire Denis from France, and someone was asking her, I don't know if it was you, Dennis, no. Anyway, someone in the audience asked her, why did you kill so-and-so during the film, her new film, Bastards? And she said, I didn't kill him. The other character killed him. Why do you make me a murderer? I don't do this, you know? So, but I understood completely because a lot of times when I'm writing, it, I'm just sort of uh, writing down things I hear the characters say, and I really don't believe it came from me, you know? And William Blake, he entered the film. It wasn't a thing where I, I now I will put, and the, he shall be called William Blake, and we will, we will quote William Blake. It really was because William Blake wanted me to put him in the film somehow, you know? I believe that. 